What is up, my bromosexuals? It's Skull Poofy here, yelling to you loud and proud from the fine state of Connecticut. Now it's time to be kind and rewind so that you can look at some footage I took a while back. I don't do that well, though. I got like 15 to 1, but it's not exciting or anything, so just try and ignore it and just listen to my voice. I want to talk to you today about the perfect game. There are a lot of games out there, are a lot of games out there disputes about what game is like the best. And, and the big were the big two were Bad Company Two and Modern Warfare Two competing for the first place in um in the main first person shooter online and in sales. I think Bad Company Two is way better, by the way. It, but I'm not going to. I'm not, but I'm not going to go into that. But what I want to ask you is this: If you could make your own game, what would it be? What would be the first person? Would it be a first person shooter? be a third person shooter, would it be under the play create share genre of like Mod Nation Racers, or Little Big Planet One and Two? Or but what if it was like a racing game, Grimace? Or what is this my but you know, do what you want. Leave it leave your um ideas in the comments below. I'd love to read them and hear about what game you want. And hey, maybe it'll be made in the future and you'll be happy. But um my idea is that in most games, most first person realistic quote unquote, um, first person shooters are just a bunch of people randomly shooting at each other. That's just it. There's just a mass of people running at each other. Sure, they're on teams, but it's every man for himself. Really. Like whoever gets the best score, you, you're competing to be first, not competing to win. But um, my idea would be, um, online you have a team, and in that team there'd be three squads of four people, so twelve people on a team, and each person in that squad would get a role to play. Like one would be an assault, like run ahead and shoot everybody. One would be demolitions, like blow down walls. One would be a medic to heal everyone. And one would be heavy support, a.k.a. sniper. And I know it sounds a bit like the Battlefield game, but instead of choosing, it's, this sounds actually worse, but instead of choosing, you'd be, you'd be made to play that game. You'd be, I mean, you'd be made to play that role, but I think it'd be better that way, in my opinion. I don't, but that's just me. Because at least that way, you actually have to play your role instead of just being like, oh, I might do this, but I might do that. But you know... Um, you, I, I, yeah. Um, now each squad would be assigned objective, like defend this, attack that, fix that, and destroy this. And whichever team, whichever team completes their obje objectives first, so like, whichever team has all their squads complete their objective first, would win. But that's just me, and I'm sure no one likes it, so. <clears throat> my other, my other idea would be to, um, would be to make the ultimate RPG. Now, what I mean by that is that you can decide how you look in more than one decision, and that, and you can take more than one decision in a given situation. Obviously, like any other RPG. But um, and this one, I want to make it so that I want I want to take it to the next level. You know, you start out as a baby, like you're born, and that's where you start. That's what the game is. You don't skip ahead a bunch of years, like Fallout Three or anything. You live through your entire life from from a baby, and um, you could leave a life of crime and drugs, and maybe maybe get an MD, go to college, and get a and get a big fancy house, and be really rich, and get a nice car. Um, but you could do you could be anything in that game, from like a hobo to the mayor or president, and anything in between that. Like literally, whatever you want, it's just like real life. Um, you'd have you would have to like study for um for um, school and stuff, obviously, so, like, if you didn't study for school, you wouldn't know the answers, they'd be like, yeah, so you can move on to the next grade, and that will affect it, when you go to college, and get a good job, and all that, but, um, a thing that I wanted to incorporate into this game was not only do you live your life, but each year of your life, you choose, um, four goals for your year, so you have to complete those goals in order to move along, move along to the next year, if you know what I'm saying, uh, so, like, um, once you complete those four goals, it's the next year. You you become a year older, and um, each one of the goals would take place in a different season. Obviously, so it's like the four seasons of the year and move on. Um, and depending on what your goal, what goals you choose, complete and um, fail, you can like fail a goal and you can't go back and redo it. If you fail a goal, it will decide your entire life in front of you. Just like if you fail that goal, it could destroy your entire life in that one little thing. And um, after you complete those goals, you become a year older and get a new set of goals or challenges. And um, there's plenty. Of, there'll be plenty of like activities to do in between. Like, um, and like um, you could like go fishing instead of like going to school. 
Or that's a really bad example, but you know what I mean. Um, but new like, but like one little thing could open up an entire world of so this would prob so obviously this would be a very long game, and with literally thousands of things to do, paths to take, and ways for it to end. Um, oh yeah, the other thing. Um, when you're dead, you're dead. Like just like real life, you don't come back after you die. Like that's it. But unlike real life, you a karma. It'll probably be a karma system in this game. Um, like any most other RPGs there are. Um, it's and I'll record all your do's and don'ts. Give me your ideas in the comments below. Until next time, this is Scope Hoofy being in your mom. Like the blue sky.